It's an intro first. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Liddy Show. Period. Y'all see, I have to get my drink and get this thing started. How y'all feeling? Y'all happy y'all finally caught a life? <laughs> y'all happy y'all finally caught a life? So we're going to get right into it. Today, you know, well, before I start, I just want to say something. I know that it's some people out there that, you know, be telling people and multiple people, don't go on the Liddy show. Don't go on the Liddy show. She just trying to stay relevant. I have a message to you, host. I am relevant by myself. Now let me continue to my show. So... <laughs> I have one of the winners of the challenge of the Big Liddy. So before the TikTok challenge like really, really started booming and everybody was like doing all of these like big, big dances and stuff like that, I had ladies twerking. Um, I had people, uh, what was y'all doing? Y'all had to explain what, what, what uh, G5 wanted you guys to do for that challenge. Basically, he wanted us to show your talent for one show you what your hair did, show you outside having fun, show you doing something productive. Just everything everything that you do in your real life, he basically wanted you to put it all in one collage and make make it to the big lady song, you know. If you want this fade, come and get it. Yeah. That part. So she was one of the winners. She was one of the winners. And so can you let them know your name, where you from? <laughs> <laughs> um, my name Nye Styles. Y'all might know me as for lifers on Instagram. Um, I'm from South Central LA, West Mont to be exact. Mm. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, y'all know what time it is. I'm here. I'm about to turn it up real quick. And yeah. And that part, that part, that part. So, what is your talent? What, what, what kind of talent do you have? Um, I do hair. I do braids, I do wigs, I do weaves, I do locks, I do starter locks. I pretty much do it all. And I'm self-taught too, so. Hmm. Self-taught. Self-taught. I learned everything on my own. I didn't go to no school. I didn't pay for no classes from no hairstylist. I just literally watched YouTube and taught myself how to do that shit and kept going, basically. Period. So you was determined? Pretty much. Still determined. That part. That's why she won that challenge. That's hmm. my homegirl. That, that's yeah. why she won that challenge. So, since you from L.A., you from South Central, right? Mm-hmm. I, I got a question for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? Who started on my soul? Um, Vino. I think Vino started on my soul. The homie started on myself. <laughs> on myself. <laughs> it's funny because, like, it's been a lot of back and forth about who started on myself. So, everybody in L.A. say it, but how do you feel about who made it go viral? Because it's a difference of who started it and who made it go viral. You think so? Yeah, it is a difference. It's somewhat of a difference. But I do also feel like Everybody's trying to figure out who made on my soul, my soul, my soul. And it's three motherfucking words. Anybody could put that shit together. So it, I don't feel like that's really that deep. But I do feel like it's a difference. It definitely is a difference. It's who, who say it better and who make it basically trend more. Then who is that? I say Cash made a trend. She made it boom, for sure. She made it boom, for sure. But what I will say is, people was already saying on my soul before Cash was saying it on my soul on the TV. Because who y'all think she heard on my soul from? Like, you, 
it, anybody could have made that, basically. That's what I'm saying. But Cash did make it boom. She made it boom when she was on, on the um, South Central Baddies talking about on my style. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my soul. Okay, period. Period. Bino. Y'all know Bino. If you don't know, now you know. So, y'all know it is Black History Month, and I have my picks. Like, I have my picks. And my picks of Black History Month is none other than the uh, swing like a butterfly, stun like a bee. Ain't that what you say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. Mr. Muhammad Ali. I like I like Muhammad Ali. I had a picture of Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X in my house, like at one point in time. Like I really, I really like Muhammad Ali. You know his Hello? daughter, Layla Ali? Mm-mm. No, you don't know her? She be she be she be hitting them bitches. For real? Yeah, she be doing oh, her so thing. Oh, so she boxed too. Yeah, he got a daughter that box. That's crazy. She still boxing? I don't know. I don't know. I gotta research that. She probably old as hell. Nah, I don't think I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't wanna get beat up either, so I ain't gonna say too much. Oh, me either. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. She a professional boxer. So, and another person who like I feel like is a good part of black history, you know, and you know, needs to be, you know, shouted out is Mr. Tilo. Tilo. Like Tilo, Mr. Now that's T V Tilo. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like Black owned businesses are really flourishing right now. And with black owned businesses flourishing, it's like, you know, it's, it's dope to, you know, put your people on. Right. Whether you're giving them $5, $10, $1,000, $2,000, you know, to do what they gotta do. Like, you know, at least, at least he give, at least, at least the nigga giving everybody something. Right, a little platform to do something. And, you feel me? Like, you know, yeah. cause the bitch went viral. A bitch huh. went viral. For real. <laughs> so, another thing that, oh, okay. So, the Liddy Babies, they really messy. Like, my supporters, they messy. But more importantly, they be wanting to know the tea. Mm -hmm. And I seen the tea, and then I scroll past it. And then people just be, like, wanting me to, like, you know, just go for the gusto. So. Mm -hmm. so I don't usually like try to put my opinion into shit, like especially on no dick and pussy shit. Mm -hmm. But I gotta say something. I like I feel like I wouldn't be Liddy if I didn't. So um, I don't know. Uh, I think I mentioned it to you before, but there is an interview that surfaced online, and it's Diamond, Diamond from Crime Mob. Mm -hmm. Did you know about the show that she had? Yeah, the um, Diamond Cuts show. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I seen the first couple episodes. Right. So the first episodes was only, I think it was like three, like two or three episodes. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, the show just disappeared. Mm -hmm. So when the show disappeared, everybody like really wanted to know what was going on. So she does this interview with um, B103. Mm -hmm. So she does this interview with B103 and my, did you watch the interview? Yeah, I've seen the interview. Yeah. But... What I think about it? I'm going to say what I think about it first. Yeah. So this is what I think, okay? <laughs> okay, so this is what I think. I think, and no shade, I like Diamond, like, Crime Mob, like, um, I, you know, we, we, fuck, we fuck some Crime Mob. Mm -hmm. But Mrs. Bootylicious Bubblegum mm -hmm. was, like, I feel like she was, like, like you know teasing them oh like with that okay, i got okay. 32 flavors like you feel mm -hmm. me i feel like she was really teasing them making you feel me mm -hmm. you know making it look good making it sound good and then she said too that she accepted gifts and shit like and it was like damn bitch he giving you more than he giving me to fight <laughs> and you didn't throw that pussy back <laughs> Not you didn't throw that pussy back. but i feel her though you feel me but it's like Really what it all boils down to is contracts and shit. Like, mm -hmm. she should have had a contract. You know, she should have been doing her business right. But, you know, shit. Like, that's a grown-ass man with a whole lot of money. Tilo ain't playing with no bitch. I was just about to say. <laughs> Tilo ain't say, playing with no if bitch. If you ain't going to do it, it's a million other bitches out there. So, <laughs> yeah. 
Tilo like, yoink, <laughs> no show. <laughs> <Mwah. Take it. laughs> but I, not like that, but I feel him. Not like that, but no shame. I feel him. Oh, God. Only because he really thought, I, I feel like he really thought he was, you know. He thought but, she was fucking with it. Like she was, yeah. Yeah, like she was with the, you know. Mm-hmm. But then she just was like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I feel like that was some tea, though. It was some tea. It definitely was some tea. And you could tell. I don't know. She was getting. You could tell she was. She was getting carried away with it. Like she. She liked that shit. She was feeding into it. She was probably leading them on. She said she was leading them on though. But yeah, she did. She said she, I ain't gonna lie. Like you feel me? But I feel her though. Like why the episodes get cut <laughs> short? <laughs> Me, me and your relationship got to do with the episodes. That's that's how I would have felt like. But see, she felt like she had it in the bag. You don't have it she in the bag till that contract is signed. That part. He showed her like, look, huh. I didn't get I didn't Oh, you want to the... play? You want to play with that little shit? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> for no, for real. So, um, speaking of like, you know, couples, quote unquote couples. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite, not even my favorite, like, well, I like them. I like them a lot. I like both of them. But the most controversial couple that hit, like, the T pages and the blogs was Pink and Don. When Pink and Don popped out, I thought that was so cute. I did. I don't know. I, I haven't really kept up with the, with the relationships of Now That's TV and stuff. But I could have sworn Don was just with Notch. He she, was. He was just with her. He was. He just, real quick, like, that was quick. I mean, I don't know. I know. I know I seen her talking shit first, then maybe him. Well, I don't know. I just know I seen Pink and Don. It was like, Ooh. I mean, they a cute little couple. They cute. Let's see how long it lasts, but they cute. You don't think it's going to last long? Not really, because everybody in their business. Just like everybody was in Don and Naj business, everybody going to be in his, him and Pink business. I don't think they're going to be together, because I'm trying, I'm trying to fuck up that relationship. I want Pink. <laughs> I thought she was going to say Don. She said, I want Pink. Okay. I want Pink. Well, I seen I that. Lie. I felt she, like he took my bitch. Yeah. Where is she? What ethnicity is she? Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I ain't gonna lie. And she be wearing her real hair. And she didn't got thick. She didn't got thick. She cute. She cute. She didn't got thick. She cute. <laughs> you can't deny it. Yeah. But let me stop perving on her. So back to the couples. Back to the couples. So it's Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. And it's love in the air. Mm-hmm. It's love in the air. It's 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 like in the air, everybody want to, uh, 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 you feel me? It's a lot of, it's a lot of couples around here. Yeah. And it's a lot of triples too. Yeah. It's definitely a lot of triples. So it's a lot of couples and it's a lot of triples. I want to know who y'all think Lemon Pepper is going to give a gift to. Me, if I'ma say, if I'ma say who I think she gonna, he gonna give the gift to, it's gonna be Janisha, cause she the only bitch acting right. All these bitches out here going crazy, fighting each other, not keeping it pee. She the only one keeping it pee. She out there hosting, asking the bitches, well, why are you guys beefing? No, the no, whole she know, time. She know why they beefing the whole time. I'm like, yeah, Janisha, yes, yeah, yeah. The whole time, Janisha knew. Janisha knew. She, it, it was crazy because she just looked like. Yeah, she just like, well, why, well what's, the beef? what's the beef? What started the beef? Like, what started the beef? And they're like, well, I don't know. Like, they basically saying they don't know what started the beef. They, they know what started the beef. Y'all fucking her beef. nigga. Y'all fucking her nigga. Like, y'all fucking this woman nigga. And we all know. She know, but she just don't care. Yeah. I think I seen a post where she like kind of like threw a sub, but hey, like I'm 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 looking at a, a supporter viewer point, mm -hmm. and like it was a post, and then it was a song or something like that that said something about replacement, and I was like, ooh, she firing back, but I'm not sure, mm -hmm. cause she didn't say that, of course. Right. But I mean, it's like, 
You know, like y'all was really sitting here arguing. So I'm gonna ask y'all, you know, who y'all think is gonna get it? Janisha gonna get the um, Valentine's Day gift? Scotty or Anna Mock? Anna Mock, Anna Mock, little ghetto ass, little ghetto <laughs> ass bitch. She a little ghetto ass bitch. <laughs> I thought I was ghetto. That bitch is ghetto. No, she ghetto as fuck. If she did not look like she would be ghetto, like if you no, see her, no, she don't. You'll be like, oh, you look at you. You so cute with your little self. And then that, that bitch, bitch open so her mouth, <laughs> <laughs> yelling this shit. She was yelling the whole reunion, like just yelling. Speaking of the reunion, I'm gonna just go ahead and talk about this shit because I know they want me to <laughs> <coughs> chime in at your own risk. Mm -hmm. You feel me? If you ain't scared, because. These motherfuckers on my show in these comments, they be so mad when I talk about what I want to talk about. <laughs> they be mad. So, just, you know, just chime in because they're going to be like, Lenny, stay over there on that CD. <laughs> I go where I want to go. Right. I go where I want to go. So, the Zeus reunion, the Baddies East reunion, that shit was really, it was, it was. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it was crazy. It was funny and it was crazy. Biggie, that situation, the, the one situation that stood out most to me was Biggie and uh, Smiley. I was very confused mm -hmm. because this is what I didn't understand. So I understand that everybody feels like uh, Smiley should stand up for herself, right? Mm -hmm. I understand that, you know, they quote unquote feel like Smiley was faking them seizures. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Sometimes I feel like she might have been. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Then they feel like she was bullying Mariah. Okay, I get it. But Biggie, why do you have all of this animosity in this dressing room with her when y'all left the season peacefully? Yeah. I and Smiley confused. didn't. I don't. I don't think I. Am I? If I'm wrong. Lady Baby, tell me about myself, but I don't remember seeing Smiley say anything bad about Biggie on the show. Did you? No, I don't. I don't. She was, Smiley had her own shit rolling, trying to figure it out. She was trying to get herself together. Yeah, she was trying to get herself together. So I, didn't, I don't remember seeing her say nothing about Smiley at all. Maybe Biggie about Smiley. But nothing, nothing that Smiley said for real. Yeah, cause it really, really confused me. Like I was very, very confused. Cause she just smacked, she smacked that bitch into next week. We needed the way she smacked that bitch. We need the next episode. We needed that next episode right in and there. She smacked us into the next episode, right along with Smiley ass. Like what the fuck? I was, and then all of that blood that was everywhere. Like, my thing is this. I'm going to say one more thing about it. If Biggie was upset because somebody has said to me on Twitter, like, yeah, like, pointed out to me, like, Biggie was upset because Smiley was supposed to get off on Roly or Smiley was supposed to get off on E.T. Like, they had a plan or whatever. They had some type of, like, what? secret plan. But why you didn't spite Smiley then after that? Y'all went, y'all didn't went to Jamaica after this shit. <laughs> How you gonna bring up at the reunion that she didn't get off on Rolly or ET, but you never said that in the house? We never seen y'all arguing about that on camera. Like, girl, Biggie just wanted a moment. I feel like <coughs> Biggie wanted a moment. I'm convinced. Biggie wanted a moment. I feel like <coughs> if Smiley didn't even stick up for herself, what makes you think she finna help you beat another bitch up? Or she finna help you tag team another bitch? Smiley not even trying to fight for her damn self. She no. knew better. So that's Biggie's fault for expecting something from somebody who already showed her she wasn't like that. Like, that's Biggie's fault. No shame. No shame. No shame. Yeah. So then another thing that um, that was funny to me, Rolly was fucking Biggie up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. Rolly was whooping. <laughs> Rolly was whooping Biggie feet, like. <laughs> Rolly? But I, but I can say, Rolly, that wig, yeah, she was smart for that wig, because oh it wasn't going to come off. Nobody, Nobody could do nothing. nothing. Nobody could do nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. That shit, I was looking, I'm like, oh, she, what? what? Nothing. She, what? The whole nothing. time, like, I like that little wig she had on, but. It was a cute little pixie cut on Rolly. Yeah, it was cute. It, it was, was cute. cute. It was a cute little pixie cut. Um, Anna. 
ghetto ass bitch. <laughs> this bitch, this bitch, this bitch, I'm a jumping all over the couches. Yeah, she, she like was going crazy. Titties popping out. Right, but then it was funny because Biggie was like, come on, Anna, run with me. And then they start and holding they start running. Running. <laughs> Talk Ring about around the rosy, run, 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 you run. can't run like this. Talk about Rosie. I'm like, bro, they over here planning shit and shit at the reunion, planning it. <laughs> I thought that was funny though. I ain't gonna lie, like, what the fuck? You fucking Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb, <laughs> bitch, look like Ren and, and Stimpy. Really, <laughs> really, no, that was the crazy I'm part. I'm really, I'm a ghetto I ass. I would run off by herself. I would like, be like, like bitch, head. skip to the dude by yourself, ho. <laughs> like, we not about to do none of that. <laughs> Like, what are you talking I about? Around, for sure, like, around. talking about some run with me. Run with me. Like, it was giving... It, I don't know what the fuck it was giving. It just... It was really giving Tweedledee and Tweety Dumb. Just that <laughs> moment right there. That moment. Um, they say I'm biased. About? Like, just any time it come to ET, they say I'm biased, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and... It's funny because I said I am, but I always keep it real, though. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, I always keep it real with how I feel. Mm-hmm. I just wish, you know, some of the other cast members cough, cough. You feel me? I'm going to drop that later in a second. But I just wish some of the other ones, like, keep it real. But I feel like <laughs> I don't care. It was funny to me when... um is he flipped Natalie over that chair? Oh yeah, I, I was not it was expecting funny, that. Funny, like, like <laughs> I was not expecting that. I mean, I feel like, like I know they was upset about you feel me, like oh she hit Natalie, and they feel like she didn't have a good reason. Mm-hmm. But in that moment, she felt she had good reason. Good reason right. So who am I to be like, she, E.T. shouldn't have did that. Mm-hmm. That's why I was mad. Like, you feel me? I felt the type of way, like, really, like, she shouldn't have hit Natalie. Like, who are you to say what she should have did? Bitch, you hit Natalie, too. Mm-hmm. All you bitches hit Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, can't not, you can't tell the person they, how they feel. If I feel like she needed to get hit, she got hit. That and part. She, that just, was that. Like, just don't say nothing. Leave it Let alone. E.T. and Natalie figure, figure that out. out. Right. That don't got nothing to do with nobody else. Then, so Mariah Lynn, Mariah, it's crazy because I had told E.T. like I like Mariah. You feel me? She was like Mariah jumped me. Mariah told me she didn't. And um, one of our homegirls, Benderella, mm-hmm. had ended up um, hitting Mariah or whatever. So Mariah says like, you feel me? She didn't jump in. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. That's what she said. Somebody was recording, you feel me? And boom, they sent me the shit. Like, told you that bitch was a liar. That bitch did jump E.T. Like, like, boom, boom. <clears throat> and then E.T. was saying, like, no, Liddy. Like, like I felt bad because I felt like, no, I should have hit Mariah. Because mm-hmm. E.T. was saying that she was like, she's going to talk shit. Like, she's going to talk shit. She's going to pretend like she's cool right now, but she's going to talk shit. So I just want to fight her right now. Mm-hmm. And Mariah cop on the plea in the video. Like, it's weird. Yeah, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it after I talk about, um, after I talk about the other shit. Mm-hmm. But it's just weird. Like, so the whole time she did jump in. You see, you didn't see it? Mm-mm. Okay. When I play the clip, I'm going to, I'm going to pause it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to pause it live. I'm going to let them watch the video. Cause it's like, I think it's like two. I got like a two minute T little video for y'all. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like a two minute T video. And I'm gonna show you the clip and you tell me. We're gonna come back. Mm-hmm. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it. Okay. You feel me? We're mm-hmm. gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it. Production, I know I'm off cue, but she ain't do her job. You feel me? <laughs> No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So, <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the clip. <laughs> you feel me? But can somebody get the clip up for her of um, of of when E.T. had swung on Natalie so she could see it, so she could be on top of it, period. So, look. 
after. No, I don't need it right now. I just need it. I just, I just need you to have it on hold. That's all. Thank you. Sorry, y'all. This is the Liddy Show, and I do what I want. You feel me? And I want everybody to be in tune with what we're talking about, because this is real, real Liddy conversations. You feel me? It's real conversations. So, yeah. Back to it. So, boom. So, E.T. and Tzatziki fight. You feel me? I'm going to just jump right into that. Mm -hmm. E.T. and Tzatziki fight. I feel like it was a good fight. The only thing that I had a problem with was I called E.T. and I'm like, bitch, why you fighting with your pussy out? She was like, bitch, I had on fucking new panties. She cussed me out. I'm like, okay. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I looked, I said, oh, yeah, she did have on her new yeah. panties. You Everybody was saying that, though. Yeah, but the bitch, the bitch coochie was fat. It was there. Everybody seen it. <laughs> Everybody it seen out. it. It was out. It was out. And look back. I'm like, damn, friend. You feel me? Like, friend was friending. But I felt like they had a good fight. You feel me? E.T. definitely did her shit. Yeah, they did have you a feel good me? fight. I feel like, you know, Tzatziki, she did her little backup once, who, like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. They did their shit. Like, they was Tzatziki, going blow for blow. They too. was. They was. Then she tried to slam her. <laughs> And when she tried to slam her, she fell herself. She fell herself. ET got on top. It was a good fight. Mm -hmm. I feel it. And then they got two more rounds. I feel like the, the and I'm, I hate the word fan, but I'm going to say it because it be the fans. I feel like they overhype it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But to, to hype it up, yeah, it was a good fight. Yeah. It wasn't no, oh, she taught her. She ate her. No, mm -hmm. it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't that. And that's not even on no bias. I don't feel like I'm biased saying that. No, I feel like she was hanging up in there with her. <clears throat> I wasn't no how when Tasika fought what's Krishan's best friend name? When she fought her, I feel like she was really no, teaching she her. She was her like trying to teach ass. her for real. Scarface, I don't feel like it's no teaching her. Like she was hanging in there, like keeping her own type shit. So I don't feel like she couldn't it wasn't no eating. It wasn't no eating up nothing. I don't think it was an E either. Yeah. I think it was, all right, you feel me? We seeing where each other hands at. Yeah. You feel me? Because yeah. if you was really teaching her, why did you grab her? Or why was you stepping back? Like, y'all was getting each other. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It was a, it was was a, a fade. Oh, God. It was a fade. I feel like it was a fade. Can I say that I am excited that <clears throat> Scarface leg is fit? Well, back right? Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting. Uh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. It's, I think it's, we all been waiting. Yeah. I think we all was waiting. I was, because, like, I just was. I was waiting. Like, hold on. Don't. Y'all playing with my bitch. Hold on. But now she all up in there. She, yeah. I feel like that was you. a good, that was a good fight it to was. be back. Like, and then they got two more rounds. They got two more rounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They got two more rounds. I think, yeah. I think so. I gotta go back and watch. Everybody be like, "Oh, she lied to you in your video." Look at we—I was drunk as fuck that night. I don't remember <laughs> what that bitch said in that video, and y'all be talking about she lied to me. So I'm gonna go watch it, but I don't feel lied to. I feel like, cause we talked about it. She said like, you feel me? She she never. I don't know. I'm gonna go watch the video though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go watch the video, <laughs> but. It was a good fade. Round one yeah. was a good fade. Round one was good. I didn't definitely. see nobody getting dogged out. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. They make intense. it seem, like, yeah, it was like, ooh, yeah. look at them go. Like, the whole time I'm up in my seat, like, ooh, <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh You feel me? Tzatziki backing up. He teach on the yeah. attack. He teach was on the attack, like, come here, bitch. Tzatziki, like, uh, ooh. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, it was like they studied each other. You get what I'm saying? You can saying? tell they kind of fight alike. It was like they studied each other, like they were studying each other. Mm-hmm. But E.T. sometimes, she don't even care. She just be on an attack. She just be like, <laughs> Oh, God. E.T. hit hard. I sparred with her before. She punched me up. For real? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, fucking with her, sparring with her in the gym, I have to learn how to motherfucking, like, really duck. Like, mm -hmm. okay, bitch. Mm-hmm. 
Then I'm just like, fuck it, I don't want to get hit. I'm just about to grab these bitches up and call it a litty lock. So when y'all was training, she was training with you? Yeah, she helped me. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, she helped me, she helped me. She sparred with me, you feel me? She threw things at me in the gym, <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. She threw water on me. <laughs> she yelled water. at me while I was, while I was conditioning. <laughs> like, you know? She she hazed me in the gym. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, but she really like, you know, like she had me like, you feel me, helped me build my endurance up because I was like, my wind was gone, mm -hmm. but I got my wind up. Mm -hmm. We on the motherfucking treadmill every day, five days a week, boom. Mm -hmm. okay. Drop the kids off, we on the treadmill. <sighs> on the bike, <sighs> running around the gym. <sighs> Oh, so on the boss. Working. Yeah. You feel me? Like she take it, you know, she take it serious. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? That's cool. But yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. So um I'm about to I'm about to go ahead and show y'all this video real quick. And this again. So y'all always got something. You gotta, yeah. So this again. I don't understand why. Like I don't even know how to put it, cause I don't understand it. I don't understand how this girl just be talking all of this shit. Like it's it's really it it really baffles me. But I'm gonna go ahead and play this clip for you guys, and we will be right back. It's like, a, you know, one of those. I don't got no problem, but it's what it is. And we're not doing it. We got paid. Well, we just got paid. Okay. And guess we just what? got paid. I just got set up, so what's up? I ain't set you up. I know, but you're a part of it. How am I a part of it? I'm not going back and forth, Lucho. I'm not going back and forth. I'm not going back and forth. I'm far tonight. Like I said, I ain't going back and forth. Man, the re here is gonna come out, and this bitch gonna talk shit. So what's up? What's up? Booty come down my stuff. Nothing about you, PT. Are you gonna talk shit? I haven't said nothing about you, and I never said nothing about smiling when she talks shit. I ain't never nothing. Are you gonna talk shit? Are you? Yeah. I'm back on, period. So, what you felt about that? She got her little licks in. I seen her trying to get them from the corner with her little ass. Hold on. No, you can't keep talking. This this is just a coincidence this person is calling. Oh. I got to answer my phone, you guys. But yeah. Hello? Okay. Okay, I'm going to have them open it for you. 
I had to answer that it's a celebrity and come pulling up, okay? And I'm not telling y'all who the celebrity is unless they want to tell y'all who they are. But just know behind the scenes of this motherfucker, it be cracking, okay? It be cracking, cracking. I got the food. Can I get the wood? Yes, you can get the wood. You co-host, big co-host. And you doing your shit. I am. Big co-host. Hmm. Big co-host. Big one. Rate the co-host. <laughs> Y'all gonna rate me? <laughs> rate the co-host. Rate the co-host. Okay. So, where we at on this program? Where we at on this program? We back. Mariah Lynn jumped in. She a punk. Like, she cause she lied to me in. to my face. But it's cool. Like, you know, like... I like I told her in person like I don't even want to fight you like she too little like not I don't like, even that. like that like she came from love and hip hop didn't she come from love and hip hop yeah she did. she, yeah, she not did. she not I liked this, her I like Mariah Lynn love and hip hop is not how not as TV is that's acting no, it's for not. real they set it's everything not. up I got a problem it's, it's not it's not it's not like that but I liked her. But I ain't like how she did that Cause she could've said it She could've been like Yeah bitch I jumped in Because bitch you was wrong bitch I don't know I never She Mariah I feel like she, to me She always been one of them people That was just there Like It wasn't I, I liked her It wasn't that I didn't like her She just was there Like it was, She was just there This time around She on baddies So she, I feel like she needs To switch it up So she was trying to Input a little bit too much And didn't know where to put it But no, nah, she not built for Zeus. Like, she's not built for Zeus at all. She wouldn't, for sure, wouldn't be built for Not As TV, because. Well, she was fucking with Not As TV first for a little bit, but she didn't get on those shows. I was just about to say, what shows? She didn't get on those shows, but I remember I was her fan favorite at one point in time, so I liked Mariah. But then now it's like, bitch, why you, why you, you could have told, I'm lady, bitch, said. you could have just told me like, look, bitch, I jumped your friend and this is because this is how I felt. Mm -hmm. I would have been like, okay, well, they want to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> you know she wasn't gonna... <laughs> they want to fight you. They want to fight. These people want to fight you. Mm -mm. Go fight them. And that's I'm why not she about to jump that. you. She, but, but a bitch got her though. For you feel me? Yeah, I, yeah, the video, I sent it. It was on the Zeus TV page, but mm -hmm. I didn't got the whole video. I sent it to you. You mm -hmm. feel me? You got to look at that. I'm like, the bitch got hit by the bitch. Shout out to Benderella. Benderella, shout out to Benderella. <laughs> shout out to Benderella, my girl Benderella. Shout out to Benderella. She was she she hit her on. She hit Mariah Lynn on accident, though, mm -hmm. because she thought Mariah Lynn was on the mat. Mm -hmm. So she mac, boom. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. And then I told Marlon, like, damn, like, you little, like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> my bitches was like, jump her. She jumped E.T. She jump this e. bitch. I'm like, oh, she little. Jump this bitch. Get this bitch. I'm whole like, uh, right. whole time. She really did, but she lied. Mm -hmm. But she should have just said why she did it. I don't know. That's crazy. She... And she was like, you going to talk shit? She was like, no. I swear to God, when I was on the way here, somebody was like, see, look, Mariah talking shit. That's that loving hip Mariah shit. talking to shit. Tell you they behind their hands. Mariah talking shit. Mariah talking shit. Mariah talking shit. That shit is some tea. That shit is some tea. So, them bitches did jump her. I don't know if that's what they said she was lying about, but I, that wasn't a lie. She got jumped. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't know. She got jumped. The eye shit, like I had told them shit. I seen that shit, so I said it. Because I thought the bitch spit on me, so I was saying whatever I wanted to say mm -hmm. at that point. But on some real shit, like, that shit, I don't know. I don't know. That, that shit... That whole little reunion was funny as fuck. It was it was crazy. So, have you talked to her since? Who? You see? Mariah. Who, Mariah? Hell since no. Since the video came out? Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Mm. No, because I, don't, I wasn't there. Mm. I talked to her that night, but I wasn't there. Like, so I didn't have nothing to say. 
Mm. I just told her, like, you feel me? Like, you know, I'm cool with you. Like, I fuck with you. Like, you know, but well, why you jump in? If you say you fuck with her, because you told me you fuck with her. Mm. So. She mm. was hopping on everybody bandwagon the whole season. Anybody and everybody that was with the most people, that's where she was at. Oh, God. She was with wherever the most people was. She ain't want to be singled out for nothing. She ain't want to stand out nowhere for real. And that's what her downfall is, for real. Bandwagoning. You take other people's beef. For what? No, for real. For what? For what? Well, you guys, we're going to have a quick commercial break. Y'all know it's February. I'm supporting everybody. I'm supporting black business, supporting black artists, supporting everybody. So um, I'm going to go ahead and drop this little... Promo commercial, shout out to Bam on the Beat, and <clears throat> shout out to all the hairstylists that have entered. I'm losing my voice. Let me do that again. Shout out to all of the hairstylists that are in the competition for this month, okay? We have Bam on the Beat. She was first with the curly, and now we have Jimmy Chu. So you guys are going to rate the hairstylists, Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop this commercial break, and then we're going to go ahead and bring DMK out. And I know everybody is like, Liddy, what's, what, what's going on? How are you just bringing people on your show? Because show? it's my shit. I could do that. <laughs> you feel me? This my, this my shit, right? Right. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. So I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, I'll switch out. So y'all always got something. to say about my hair so now we're gonna play a game every week called rate the hairstylist today we have bam on the beat one through ten rate her here she added some highlights for me the highlights were very very beautiful i loved it i love the color i loved everything about it look at that skin though glowing looking like a brown skin honey bun this style was so fun so fun i'm never going on no motherfucking lydia show Yeah, because when it's green, wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm teaching them. I'm live. All right, y'all. We got DMK in the building, and y'all gonna give me a second. I'm gonna. I'm telling my guests where they cameras is at. Okay, <laughs> and that's what y'all gonna do. Period. Period. I'm telling them where they cameras is at, so they know they know what's going on. Cause it's going on, right? Right. It's definitely yeah. going on. Yeah, it's going on? Yeah. Okay. It's going on. Okay. So we right here. Right here, right? Okay, and then you right here and you right there. When you see the the red the it's the red, right? There you go. When it's green. Right, Cuddy? Okay. Yeah. When it's green. Okay. Okay. So, period. I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to get right to it. Tell the people where y'all from. Pop y'all shit. Why y'all shy? Like, what the fuck? Turn me up. <laughs> we like, from the East. Oh, we're from Oakland. We're from, we from the Bay. We're from the Bay. Okay. Dev life or nothing. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Dev life or nothing. I'm from the Bay. <laughs> East Oakland. Oh, period. Yeah. You came on here banging? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Period. I like that one, y'all. Okay. Okay. And what about you? What you got to say? Oh uh, well, I'm from the east. I'm from the deep, so I'm from the nineties. But yeah. Okay. You yeah, make it too. Me too. I'm from deep east, I'm from the nineties too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Period. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. So, I got some questions for y'all. 
<laughs> but before I ask y'all anything, y'all, y'all, is it anything that y'all want to know? Like, you know, it's a lot of supporters that come out on that be in my DM. They be asking questions, and y'all watch the show, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like, <laughs> this is like your shot. Like, this is like your chance. Cause after okay. this, even when the camera cut off, I'm not talking about South Central Baddies. No, for real. No, for I, real. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. So, let's go. Um, I don't know. This I don't know. This is off the top of my dome. Just cause you said that, but um, how did how did it feel like when you and Nina <laughs> I jumped Joyce in the closet like? <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel? Cause like I know like myself, like if we was in that predicament, <laughs> like we jumping bitches in the closet, <laughs> like it's all type of shit going on. So like how you felt in that moment? <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> Damn, you cold. <laughs> I'm trying to, you feel me? Okay, I'm going to keep it real. Mm -hmm. In that moment, I was like, got you, bitch. <laughs> you feel me? Because, like, right. you know, I felt a certain type of way. That's how I felt. I felt a certain type of way at that moment, in that moment. But, I don't know, that was so long ago. It was just... <laughs> I don't even watch it no more. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> no, I skipped past that part. Oh God, I don't even watch that shit no more. I be skipping past that part. Not because I regret it or nothing, but because it's like, that shit. That shit. <laughs> they ate me up for that. Do y'all know what I went through? Well, shit, we was at home like, Yes, we <laughs> beat that ass, beat that ass, Liddy. I went through a lot. Exactly. I, they, they, they attacked me. They say I'm transphobic. I was never transphobic. No, I just had a problem. Yeah, like when that, I, you, yeah, you know. Yeah. But Joyce had got me too one time though. <laughs> The camera just didn't air it. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't I'll even be, gonna lie. I'm not even gonna pool. tell you. What, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't even a fall in the pool yeah. shit. Y'all think that was something? No. When Joyce first like, okay, so boom. When I threw the Gatorade at the bitch, like boom, I threw the Gatorade right, and then I went to the side, and then next thing you know, here come Joyce. Joyce came and was like, Mick, Mac, Mac, mix me up cold. Mix me up cold. And that's why Nina had to jump in because she was trying to save me again. Mm -hmm. Nina had to jump in. And then that's when Joyce had hit Nina in the eye, Mac. And then Tania, Tania a little scary ass had jumped in too. I ain't gonna lie. Tania did try to jump in that time, but none of that was aired on camera. But Joyce was fucking us up. She was, but it just that part just didn't air because I hurried up and got that bitch in the closet again. Like the closets is Joyce's weakness. No, for real. No, for real. Not really. If you put Joyce in the closet, you got her. But on God, like Joyce was Joyce had got me. She tore me up, but it did, they didn't air it. So, big lady, big lady. <laughs> no shade. And shout out to Joyce. Joyce about to be on South Central Dollhouse. I do think that she going to be one of the, um, her, Savannah, um, <laughs> Kenzie, even Sky. Like, I feel like all the original, like, like that's coming from South Central Baddies, they about to eat that show up. Because they they the first ones. They about mm -hmm. to eat that show up. <laughs> they about to eat it up. But that's just that's just my opinion on that shit. So who got the next question? <laughs> who got the next question? I can't Definitely. Think um, we've been watching South Central Baddies for like hella long. Like we've been putting everybody, damn near everybody in our family on this stuff. So my question really <laughs> okay. is like, what really made you get on there? Because we kind of look at you as like one of the ones that's like hella above everything. Like you really shouldn't be in there squabbling with them, <laughs> with them people. Like we'd be like, Liddy, get him. <laughs> so what really made you, you know, like say like, all right, I'm a, I'm gonna go on there, especially season four, because y'all was already getting a jumping on the bus. <laughs> so what, you, yeah, what made you go on there? So um, I got a DM one day from somebody that I know. It was like, you wanna go on season two of South Central Buddies? I was like, hell no. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's crazy. I'm like, uh-uh. 
But then I had looked and I had seen uh, E.T., Christian, Bambi, and um, who else was it that had, like, sparked my eye on that on that season? I can't think of the name right now. Maybe God don't want me to say that name. <laughs> so I'm going to just leave it at that. You feel me? But, um, yeah. So I was looking at, you know, those episodes. Yeah. And I was like, nah, uh-uh. Like, this bitch just beat the whole house up over Sammy. Tripping. <laughs> then this bitch, this, these bitches is fighting. Yeah. And this bitch just threatened, she threatened to, to kill the bitch dog. She threatened to kill Krishan dog <laughs> on, on the show. I'm like, damn, I got a dog. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was like, these bitches was already crazy. Yeah. These bitches was already crazy. These bitches was already viral. So I'm like, nah. And that was years. You feel me? So then, boom, the same motherfucker hit me up again. <laughs> hey, Liddy, man, you'll do good on this show. You can come promote your music. Like, you feel me? You got your shit popping. And I had just did a song with Corrupt, and I had just did some shit with Sugar Free. So I'm like, yeah, who want to fight? What's that? So I'm like, um, dang, like, I'm like, okay, I would go. You feel me? But I know that I'm going to have to fight. I know it, like, it's, it's going to be something. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But do I want to fight? No. <laughs> I really want to cruise through the shit and, like, trying to, like, narrate the shit. Like, <laughs> I want to, my, my main thing, what I really, really wanted to do, I wanted to be the bitch that get on TV, be cool with everybody, and then talk shit in the confessional, and then, you feel me, don't, don't pop up. <laughs> I wanted to be that bitch. <laughs> I wanted to be messy than the motherfucker. That's what that's 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 you know that I see all the loving hip hop bitches do it. They messy than the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be messy than the motherfucker. <laughs> but I couldn't I couldn't be that. I couldn't be a comedian, a messy comedian. That's what I really wanted to be. Yeah. <laughs> but when like certain beefs just got intense, it just you know, it just it just happened. So. To answer your question, I went because I knew that some way I would be able to further my career and capitalize off this shit. Yeah. That's why I went. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. Period. <laughs> What's your question? Girl, I still can't think of my question. I don't know. What? <laughs> I can't think of no questions right now. Like, what do you think? Girl. Girl. <laughs> like, when I be talking about it, I be talking about it, but like now I'm in the moment, I can't even think about it. Okay, what about anything not that's not South Central Bodies? Um, Ask me about me. <laughs> let me see. I'm well, y'all, it's like a genie. Y'all got three wishes. It's three of y'all. So, <laughs> you want to pass your question? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about like just like doing this, like the lady show? Like, how do you feel? Oh, do <laughs> I'm gonna answer it too. Okay. <laughs> how do I feel about doing a lady show? Yeah, like, <clears throat> I feel good. I get to talk my shit, and mm. nobody like, ain't nobody hit me yet. You feel me? Like, you know, so. I feel good about that. Mm. Um, I get to fuck with people like y'all, like you know, you know, just you know, just do what I want to do. Yeah, give opportunity because I wanted to come on on TV to do my music. Like you feel me? I'm doing that shit because yeah. Big Lady is trending right now. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I'm doing it, but I didn't really get to do it like I wanted to do it. You know? Yeah. So, you know, I just feel good to have, like, you know, my, my own thing going. Shout out to Media Spell Network. You know, I'm just happy to have my <laughs> own thing going, you know, and, you know, doing my thing. Okay. So what's your question, girl? Okay, so, <laughs> no, okay, so my question was, okay, so since we've been watching it for a minute, so you know how, like, you and Nina, like, y'all was hella cool. Like, how did you, and I don't even mean to break her, but, like, how did you feel about, like, being on uh, season four and like y'all wasn't like as cool. 
I'm only asking that because it's like, if I would have went somewhere, don't drink it like that. But like, <laughs> if I would have went somewhere with one of them and then we ended up not being cool and I still had to be around them, like, I don't know how I would have felt about that. That's not your business. <laughs> <laughs> like, was you sad? Like, no. I mean, you seen us on TV, right? Did you see us have any type of argument? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, so. What did you see on TV? Like, we didn't have no argument. Whatever, this is how I feel when it comes to that. Whatever you guys see on TV, y'all make how y'all feel about it from that. Because when I watch it, I don't see me getting into it with Nina on TV. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how did that feel? Like, okay, we just, we just got to coexist. Like, but why, why do we have to coexist? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, trying to, because like, I want to know. House, so it's like, okay, y'all got to walk past each other, y'all still got to, like. But what was the problem? Business, but, like, but what was the problem? I don't know the problem, but I'm like, I knew that you guys wasn't, like, wasn't as cool as y'all was. But how did you know? Just based on the interaction or, like, you know, like, the little tea pages that we be watching. Oh. Uh, she wanted uh, you to say YouTube, though. The YouTube girl. Okay. Went up the YouTube too. Okay. Oh, okay. So word on the street. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess y'all street too. I'm just saying it's word like this. I don't speak on it because it's TV. Yeah. You feel me? Like anything outside, like I'm just not for that. Like you know. Mm -hmm. So whatever story is out there, like you feel me? Like yeah, that's what it is. How I feel about it, I don't feel any type of way. I don't feel any type of way. I'm not mad. I'm not sad. I don't hold no resentment. I'm not anything like that because I haven't said anything. Like, you feel me? Like, you know, so it's like what's on TV is what's on TV. Yeah. What's in my personal life? Like, y'all got to pay me for that. Like, real shit. Like, yeah. and I'm not talking about YouTube coin. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I'm a bitch might have to make a movie or something or some shit like that. Because I'm not, I'm not for that. Like, it's certain things that go on in my life that I just feel like it's not your business. Yeah. You know? So, like, just go off what's on TV. Not the T-pages. Because I don't give a fuck about a T-page. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all. Okay. Yeah, you tried it. No, I wasn't trying to. You like tried it. it. You tried it. You tried it. I knew it. I knew it was going to be you. I knew it was going to be you, girl. You did that. You going viral. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, back to y'all. And y'all asked some good questions, by the way. You both. Because ain't nobody came and did it yet. Ain't nobody came and put me on the spot <laughs> yet. You both. <laughs> you both. So, back to y'all. So what does DMK stand for? Irony. So yeah. we're gonna start with you. Can we, like so you go by your real name or do you have a stage name in your group? I mean I go by Yells, but DMK, the D is for Danielle. Okay. Yeah. And the M is for Monet, because that's my real name, but I go by Nay or the problem, cause yeah. You a problem? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. And the K is for Big Keezy. Okay, Big Keezy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Big Keezy. Big Keezy. Big Keezy. Okay. Big Keezy. So y'all got like a line leader? No. 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 A line leader. No, we, we all leader, come no. as one. Yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah, like okay. You know, it's it's bitches been fighting over line leaders, okay? So <laughs> Just, it's been a lot going on. Everybody big in their own way. We just, yeah. yeah. Bitches yeah. fighting over who being a line leader. Like, real shit. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to start with you. What um, what made you want to do music? Like, who's your inspiration when it comes to music? Um, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't want to do music. Like, we want to be for real. <laughs> She's a rapper. The problem is a rapper. Um, and Yells, this was all for her birthday. Her birthday just passed, so she was like, yeah, let's get in the studio. So had to put my, you know, my brain to work. Told them okay. never again, but 
Yeah, that's really why we made the song. And then, yeah, it just go crazy. I'm just talking on there. I'm talking out. Like, but can you tell them the song? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's called In My Projects, DMK Freestyle. It's on YouTube. It's on Apple Music. It's on TikTok. It's on... So y'all from the projects? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Y'all yeah. some project bitches? <laughs> no, no, Give no. me a project bitch. <laughs> well, okay. Y'all some project bitches. I mean, y'all was ghetto. <laughs> like... <laughs> Y'all some project bitches Okay So yeah That's dope So do you have some inspirations to music? Um, Like who inspires you? I really was like listening to like a lot of different people Like I was listening to like Lil Durk Or like if I want to be on some like West Coast shit. Like sometimes I listen to like Easy E or like Ice Cube. <laughs> no, cause I really fucked with them though. Like for real. Like sometimes like I hear they raps, and then I'll be like, they was on some shit back in the day. Like this really used to be like they music back in the day, but like they really used to be on some shit. So like I listen to them. Like I really didn't have like a big inspiration but like when i seen how like how people was like just saying anything like going in the studio saying anything or like just coming out with like hits <clears throat> hits that they just probably like went in the studio and like freestyled it or was just going in the studio playing like that's how i was like when i first ever like wrote a rap I was like, I want to go to the studio to see how I sound, because, like, I really don't know. So when I first went to the studio, like, I I recorded two freestyles, and I was like, okay, I could do I could do a little, you know, a little one-two. So then... A little something-something. Mm-hmm. So then, but then I always had that, like, I'm my biggest critic, like... I'd be like, what if I sound like weird? Like, no, nah, I don't want to say that because that might, they might not feel that. Like, the people might not feel that. Like, but then I was like, okay, like, at the end of the day, fuck the people. Not fuck the people like that, but like, no, fuck the fuck people. Fuck the people. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the people. I used to write in the closet. I used to write in the closet. Like, that would be like my quiet space. So, yeah, fuck the people. Like, music to me, it's personal. Mm. So fuck the people. Didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. <laughs> you good. Um, but yeah, I was always like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like the way that sound. I don't like the way this sounds. So I was just like never really getting in the studio for real. Like I will always tell my sisters like, oh, I wrote a rap. <laughs> and then they'd be like, you always playing. Like you always playing. Like you really need to rap. Like really take this shit serious. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. So when she said she wanted to do it for her birthday, cause I had already been telling them, I was like, y'all should get on the song with me. And they always be, no, like what? <laughs> I don't rap, I don't rap. Like I really don't call myself a rapper either because like, but I'm a rapper. Like, when I do get in my rapping bag, like, I'm a rapper, but... Period. I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. <laughs> I be singing and shit. I don't know how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I be feeling like I'm Drake sometimes. <laughs> for real, for real. But yeah. Period. And what about you? Who inspires you? Um, like, what you hope? Like, my favorite artist? First of all. Yeah, something like that. Okay, well, my favorite artist is Kevin Gates, but he don't inspire me to rap necessarily. I just love He's freaky. Music, and I just love that. And like, we're you love that? Songs. Yeah, I love that. You love that? You freaky? I love that. Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, it's like, um, when I was like younger and shit in middle school, I used to be like, you know, in them little classes where I used to be doing like studios and shit, rapping and shit. So that was like, you know, in my younger days. And then my cousins and shit used to rap. And I had my older cousin, he was damn near like my brother. I thought he was like the best nigga since sliced bread. So that was one thing. And then I got a little brother and he used to always tell me like, Danielle, like you, you like you hella good, da, da, da. So I'm like, yeah. But as I got older, I'm like, you can't pay me to write no fucking rap. So that's just how that went. But then for my birthday, I'm like, I want to write a rap, like let's do a rap. So she like, she started playing the beat. Kai started playing the beat. So I'm like, all right. We gonna do it. I just be sat in the room, wrote the rap, and 
yeah, we just had that shit ready, booked the studio, did all that, and it just came about. And I'm like, oh, I sound good. Oh, okay, you was loving that. <laughs> I was loving it. Period. Like, no, that's how it be, though. <laughs> that's how it be. I felt that. That's how it be. When you hear yourself on the mic, and you be like, oh, shit. Like, okay. And then I'm like, hey, that's me. Oh, my God. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that. So, um, do y'all feel like right now, like, when it comes to women on the West Coast, because I'm from LA, I'm from South Central, y'all from up from the Bay. Yeah. You feel me? So I like I like networking with you type of bitches. Like, you feel me? Because we <laughs> is different type of bitches. Never we is. We different type of bitches. Like you feel me? And um, I fucks with y'all. I love I love it up there. Like you feel me? Like I didn't get up there a few times. Like I love it up there. Like you know, like I love it up there. But how do y'all feel like about female? music on the west coast like do you feel like we lacking do you feel like they 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 shutting us out the game like how y'all feel about that um, I don't, yeah like if i'm really being honest i really don't feel like it's no good representation of west coast rap like like we hear it because we know what's going on we in the west coast but it's like Outside of this shit, it's like, who the fuck is the, who is the representative for this shit? Cause I need to be the one representative. <laughs> and the ones that they be saying, like, no cat, that, that's not it. And we're not even listening to those people. So it's like, that's not the representative. That's not it. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna be messy. I ain't gonna be messy because y'all them type of bitches. I'm this type of bitch, and I try to be in that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that's my true opinion. Like, it's not. I don't know who y'all know. <laughs> Messy, I'm gonna do it. Professional lady. Okay. <laughs> so you feel like it ain't no representation. Well, I need to apply for that job. How y'all feel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel like a little bit the same way because I feel like everybody that you not well, like everybody that you see coming up and shit, they be like from where um, Glorilla and them from, like, they be, like, from Chicago or, like, places like that. So, yeah, and them bitches hard. Yeah, they, they could rap and shit. <clears throat> but I, like, I just feel like, yeah, basically, like, a little bit the same way because, I mean, we can be, like, you know, somebody can put it on the map. Like, we can be on the map, like, of course, because, but. I mm -mm. feel like Stunner Girl hard. I feel like uh, Kamaya <laughs> Hart. Um, I feel like... I'm a man, I'm saying what you're saying. I don't want to be messy either. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... Um, who else from the West Coast? Um, I feel like Big Lady Hart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, who else? I feel like... Um, like it's a lot. Like it's a lot. All the bitches I did songs with hard. All of them. Every single last one of you <laughs> bitches is hard. And I ain't about to name all y'all names. Just come to the fucking show. Come to the fucking show. If I ain't say your name, bitch, come to the show. Good fuck. But anyways, cause bitches gonna be hitting me up like, oh, well, when you named the rapper bitches, you didn't say my name. They gonna do that. You feel me? But if you out here, come to the show. You can say your own name. Um, yeah, how you feel? Um, I really don't even want to answer that because I'm not really, I'm not really into female rap for real. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to send you my links and you listen to my shit. <laughs> I mean, shit. I'm listening to yours. <laughs> okay. I'll be playing Big, big Liddy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but I got other shit too. I got other shit too. I got some deep shit, you feel me? I got some singing shit, you feel me? Okay, so Like, me. I got some shit, like, you know? I got some shit. I got some shit. I do. I for sure got some <laughs> shit. I don't listen to rap. There ain't no female representatives. Yeah. Listen, and even if it is, like, nobody is putting them on. You know, like, it ain't that push. They don't got that push. 
Yeah. No, I feel where you coming from. I feel like I feel like sometimes like they be sleeping on the talent that's here. I feel like it's yeah. a lot of talent on the West Coast, but I feel like they be sleeping on them. Like, yeah, you know? let me say this: Lil Kayla really is hella hard. Oh yeah. God, I fucks with like, Lil Kayla. Let me, like, let me not like Lil Kayla is hard as fuck, but she don't got that push. Now she getting that push, and like that bitch is going up. But I feel like, yeah, Lil Kayla hard as fuck. That push because she been doing. Her I posted push. her. Yeah. I posted her. Yeah. Lil Kayla hard as fuck, but. My thing is, they sleep. Yeah, they not. But, but they it's not just her. Yeah. Because the people that they, they pushing, like, and when I'm talking about people, I'm talking about, like, people, like, that got, like, relevant hits right now. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. I'm not talking about past. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about relevant hits right now. You feel me? Like, shit, we still hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing right exactly. now. Like, you know, like, no shade to what nobody did in the past, but I'm talking about right now. Mm-hmm. Like, right now. But, yeah, that's the conversation. You bitches, I don't want to get into all of that. Like, no. Mm-mm. Because I feel y'all. You feel me? Because I been should have had $500,000. Period. Oh, God. All of this hard work. Who look at me. <laughs> Play my shit. I didn't sell CDs. Look, my mama was selling my CDs at Walmart. <laughs> I swear real? to God. Oh, God. Like, just like two, three years ago. The 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 three six months before I went on season three, South Central Baddies. My mama was taking my shit around while I was living somewhere else. My mama was taking my shit around, selling my shit. She didn't give me no money, but she was selling my shit. I yeah. didn't care. She was getting it out there. Getting it out yeah. Mm-hmm. Exposure. Oh, God. She yeah. was selling my shit. So it's like, you know, mm-hmm. we had digi cards. We had all type of shit just to try to push. But that's just because that's how I wanted to push myself. So y'all just completed one song, right? Mm-hmm. So what's y'all what's y'all goal after this? Like y'all about to video. push this song? Like y'all about to do more music? Yeah, we about to do more music. We got a music video coming out to the song. We just gotta get it right, cause we a little picky. Yeah, very yes. nice. And, um, Why y'all not gonna do it in the projects? Y'all project bitches. We did, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't really like the edit right now, so we gotta get that together. Once we get that together, the video will be out. Um, other than that, yeah, we just going back to the studio for do my music. Yeah. And then yeah. she doing her own thing, but she can speak on her her thing. Oh, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? She loves trying to put somebody on. <laughs> what you doing? Okay, so, yeah, we're going to do more music, but, like, I did record a song, like, by myself because... <clears throat> Now that they got on the on the song with me, <laughs> but I knew that they was always gonna like have my back and like these two are gonna be like the bitches that's like literally <laughs> front and center every time yeah. tours all that like, but <laughs> I do got like a little bit of you know little verses I gotta you know period cook up so you about to start doing your shit. Yes. Well, period. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm thankful and I'm happy that you guys came out to come chill with me. You feel me? And just to let y'all know, no problem. And just to let y'all know, the reason why they here is because they supported me first. They didn't ask me just to come on my show. Like, you feel me? They seen bitches hustling, doing promos. They like, hey, post this. Like, do this. You feel me? And I support. So I fuck with people who fuck with me. You yeah, feel big me? Lady. Big I lady. fuck with people who fuck with me, and that's just real shit. I fuck with people who fuck with me, and y'all some real ass bitches. You feel me? Like wait, 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 some wait, wait, bitches wait. out here. You feel me? Y'all came. You feel me? Y'all did y'all thing. I appreciate y'all. Right quick I appreciate though, y'all. What's we up? we not project bitches. No, oh, <laughs> no, we not. My my people's is a project bitch. So ain't nothing wrong with project bitches. We my just daddy not project bitches. Like, and damn near like where we from. So yeah. it's not the, the projects, projects. Nah. it's the whole different ballgame. Yeah. That's not <laughs> We're not from there at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, we, we just from so My daddy yeah, from the yeah, project, Savannah bitches. a project bitch. We, we glorify we project, project bitches. bitches. We yeah. just not from the projects where we at with it. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, so the projects where y'all at, they like. We just not from over there. Oh, y'all just not from over there? Yeah. yeah. Got yeah. it. I feel we it. No shade. <laughs> yeah. No shade. Yeah, really I like the projects. Because it be some point things in the projects. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Where the dice game at? <laughs> I'm crying. Baby, did you win? Did you win? 
win? Did you win? We need to come to the east. Did you win? Yeah, Did you win? Did you win today, Daddy? Did you Did win? You win <laughs> Who's blocking? You going with? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Don't call me if you go to jail. But yeah, yeah. I feel you. No shade. I get y'all. Y'all not on a project with yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Period. <laughs> <laughs> period no shade no tell me tell me period i fucks with y'all so again i appreciate y'all coming out i really do i thank appreciate you. y'all coming thank out thank you um we're gonna go into a commercial break and i'm gonna get zoe out here y'all i'm gonna get zoe out here i'm gonna get <laughs> zoe out here right after i announce our giveaways and everything okay so give me a second thank you for tuning in to the Liddy show peace up and go live 
I need another drink. <laughs> Bitch, no. <laughs> Get out my show. <laughs> Get out my show. Get out my show. No, get out my show. Get out my show. You already did enough. You show all of them people your coochie. Yes, that too. No, you did enough. Somebody want to be your friend? Show all your people your stuff. New panties. Hmm. Fat coochie. Anyways, welcome to the lady show. Bitches just think they could just come on my sets like it's a zoo set. Like, yeah. <laughs> but on a positive note, shout out, you feel me, to shout out to Miss Scarface. You see this Asika sponsor? Boom. We didn't partner up with the Liddy Show. And we are also giving away a prom dress. So I got a prom dress giveaway. Ashika's going to give out the shoes. And I'm going to tell you all the rules right now, okay? So we are looking for high school seniors to give away a prom dress from a celebrity fashion designer from Chicago, okay? And I am going to leave his social media information here because Baby got to make his own promo video because Baby baby is, baby is dope at what he do. And I'm so happy that he decided to do this with us. So the mission is to lend a hand to families that are experiencing a hardship and get the community involved in encouraging our youth off to college, okay? So the rules for the contest are this, y'all. These are the rules to the contest. Create a 60 second creative video explaining why you feel this high school student deserves to win a custom made prom dress, okay? Tag the Liddy Show and at C-O-L-D-K-E underscore. And I'm gonna put that in the description, okay? I'm going to put that in the description when this live is done. Rule number three, parent, guardian, or someone over 18 must submit for the high school student, okay? So listen, I know I know it's a lot of, you know, kids that think y'all grown. Big lady, big lady, if you want this fake, come and get it. Do not make a video and tag me in it. Don't do it. Tell your mama to do it. Tell your mama to do it. Tell your auntie to do it. Tell somebody else to do it, okay? Do not do it. Only tag me if you want me to come to your school because I'm trying to come. But don't, this is for your mama and them. Okay? Y'all must be in Los Angeles County. That is, that is the rules of the competition. Los Angeles County, I'm sorry if you in another state. I did just do a giveaway for a $200 gift card, so don't be jealous. Don't hit me up talking shit like, oh, Lenny, you're biased. It's because you're from LA. No. There will be other giveaways, there will be other competitions, okay? So don't be like that. Los Angeles County. Los Angeles County. Also, rule number five, the current GPA must be 3.0 or higher. Those are the rules, okay? The rules will be in the description and I will post about the rules on my... You... <laughs> She's so thirsty. She's so thirsty. She show her pussy on fucking <laughs> Zeus and then she come and try to bring me chocolates. She's so thirsty. Anyways, back to the prom dress. 3.0 GPA, okay? 3.0 GPA, you feel me? 3.0 GPA, they get a custom-made prom dress, and they get some shoes from Ashika, okay? They get some shoes from Ashika. A lot of y'all say, y'all be clowning, talking about the box is empty, right? <clears throat> so I came to show y'all the box ain't empty. Because E.T. was like, they say the box is empty. And I'm like, the box, is shoes come in the box, okay? The box ain't empty. Shoes come in the fucking box, okay? And we're going to give them out. We're going to give a baby a pair of shoes and a custom prom dress. And also, there's one custom prom dress. If you want to donate more prom dresses to the Liddy Show, we will give them out, Okay? We will definitely give away. So it's a prom dress giveaway, and it's also a prom dress, you know, take in. We're going to give them out, you feel me, to the other people that submit. So, you know, we could try to get it out to more people, period. So y'all make sure y'all do that. I will be promoting on it on my YouTube channel. I will be promoting it on Twitter. I will be promoting it everywhere, Los Angeles County, okay? All right. 
Back to the mess real quick. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know if y'all seen, like, the, the little Super Bowl weekend. Like, congratulations, Super Bowl weekend. Uh, yeah, mm. everybody have fun. Okay, boom, whatever. So, Mean Girls and uh, Baddies, uh, they was South Central Baddies was supposed to be having, um, you know, a little thing. And it was cute as fuck. Like, I felt like the concept was so cute. Like, even though I don't fuck with bitches, I was happy to see bitches, like, really trying to do some shit. Like, you feel me? Like, it was really cute. Like, it was really cute. But um, what I didn't like was the fact that they got scammed. Like, I had seen this bitch, Ivory, um, post this post, and she was like, um, everybody eats events is a scam. And that really is. Did we get both clips up? No? Which one we at? Because I need them to see the receipts. Because after this, it's the video. Because I'm, I'm going to show who this scammer is. And he wrong for scamming Isaiah. Wrong for scamming Isaiah. You wrong for scamming Isaiah. I, you wrong. Why would you scam Isaiah? Like, out of all of the people, why would you scam Isaiah? The youngest black entrepreneur in South Central really doing their shit. And you going to scam him? Embarrass him like that? You need your ass whooped. That was wrong. And don't say you didn't scam nobody because you's a scam. Use a motherfucking scam. Use a motherfucking scam. That man is a motherfucking scam, and he was wrong for scamming. So Ivory had called them the whole little shit out on the scam, and I'm like, you know what? That bitch wasn't lying because motherfuckers was calling me, telling me the motherfuckers was a scam, and they dropped the receipts. They dropped them. They dropped the motherfucking receipts. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is who the scammer is. And y'all gonna see. If y'all see him trying to book you some shit, no. Just remember, he, he scams some bitches who barely getting paid from the network. He's, how you scam the low-budget bitches? Like, not like that. We going up. You feel me? I got my own platform. I be doing her thing. This girl's doing her shit. Bitches got their own shows. But how you scam us? Go scam, the, go scam Natalie. Like, how the fuck? Why you fucking scam Isaiah? Go scam Natalie. Like, that shit wasn't cool. I wasn't feeling that. Did you know about the scam? I seen the flyer. But you never seen the content? Mm-mm. Because they got scammed. Because <laughs> <laughs> they got fucking scammed. Can you um? Can you show them? His, there we go. It's, it's, it's finished playing or it's playing now? Period. Let me know when it's over. Period. So, that was the scammer. Don't, nigga, and I wish you would. Because if you do, oh, God, I got the tea. No. Nah. So, yeah. So, y'all, I usually, like, stop it and, like, let a bitch, like, just, you know, come on and sneak on and sit on the couch. But Zoe didn't come to play. You ready? If you not, if you not, no, you you a celebrity, you can you, you we can wait. Yeah, get, fix get your get yeah. This is your debut. <laughs> Zoe is about to come on, and until Zoe come on, this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to open up the phone line real quick. I'm about to open up the phone line. I'm about to open up the phone line. If you don't have the phone line number, the phone line number is two one three. Five three six eleven fifty two, and I'm only gonna take about two callers. Then you have the I have the Now That's TV discussion group, and it's a fast line. If you're inside the discussion group, go ahead and hit Rizzy Rue and try to get in that group chat, and I'm gonna answer y'all calls like like that. And that's when Zoe comes on. Zoe is the fast line, okay? So boom. The number is two one three five three six eleven fifty two. Y'all, I'm uh y'all can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about, but don't do too much. 
Oh, Brian had got me flyers too. Brian, bring me my flyers. Please. I feel good. I feel like I'm that bitch. Brian left. I feel like I'm that bitch. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm opening up the phone line. I'm opening up the phone line. 213-536-1152. Y'all can start calling. All right, boom. I took it off. Do not disturb. Now they're about to start coming in. My bad, y'all. I tried to call somebody back. Hello? 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 Look, they hung up. Cuddy, it's not ringing. It's being weird to me. Okay, there it go. Too many people was calling at once. What's the deal? You calling the Liddy Show? What's that? What's good, big lady? What's the deal? Man, the deal is you just called my fucking code and we just love you down here in Midwest. Just keep in your motherfucking self. And I can't wait to see you on like some more big shit, bigger shit. Period. Can I ask you a question? Hey, I got one more question. Oh, what's up? You and Pressure really cousins? Yes, we are. That's what's up, that's what's up. I fuck with y'all bond. Yeah, okay. Right, um, what right. you think of my co host? Ah, your co host fire. <laughs> Thank you. They like it. They fucking with nice styles. Okay, thank you. Awkward. One. What's the deal? Thank you for calling the Liddy Show. What it do, big lady? What it do? What's your name? This Wendy the Wise, but I'm from the Midwest, too. I just want to give you your props. I'm an OG. I done been there, done what you're doing. And I just want to salute you, tell you you the shit. You and E.T. are my favorites forever. Keep doing what you're doing and rise. Salute, my queen. Oh, thank you so much. I'm your favorite more than E.T., though. Okay? I can't hear you. I said I'm your favorite more than E.T., though, okay? I got you. Salute. <laughs> what are you doing? You have a good one. Yeah. Okay, is Zoe ready now? Yeah. Okay. I'm about to, I'm sorry, y'all. I got to cut the phone line off. I got to cut the phone line off. Got to cut it off, y'all. It was blowing up, too. I'm going to cut it back on for Zoe. Can I get some food? I'm so sorry. I'm hungry. You can go ahead and walk on. Okay. You walking on with your blanket? I'm about to lay down. I'm this brand. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You promoting the brand. Okay. Okay. Get your merch. Okay. They trying to see, though. <laughs> okay, Zoe. Twenty twenty two. Hoodies coming out. Book bag. Luggage. You know, how to put me out here. Okay. Lay it out. Okay. Come snuggle with me. You see? Okay. Support. Hold on. You sitting oh. on my chocolate. Oh. You know, E.T. been fighting this shit. Don't sit on this chocolate. Don't do that. That's the wrong chocolate to sit on, baby. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, you in the camera. He about to fix you up real nice, too, if you not. You in the camera. So, Zoe. Hey, y'all. 
I mean, this is not like this is not like the big screen, but no, it's this the is big this, this is YouTube. But welcome back on the screen, Zoe. Hi y'all! Thank you for having me, Lenny. Oh, you drew that? Okay, tell them where you got jeweled up at. And you know, Body Crush Studios, the Sloss thing. Y'all need to um, go there, and also book with Raven at uh, right next door. Emerald City Nail Bar. You know. Yeah, Emerald City Yeah, so Nail I said my I said it for her. So yeah, use my discount big lady. You feel me? Ten dollars off any service. <laughs> Commercial done. <laughs> nah, but no, for real. Like, you know, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I seen you before. You think that this is your first time seeing me. When we was at the audition. You had came up to the yeah, but you had walked up with some Jewish lady. It looked like, and it looked like you had a lawyer and shit, and you was walking into the auditions. Yeah, cause that's when I was trying to get paid. You was trying to get paid. I was like, hold on, what y'all doing? Y'all, I got the contract. You know, I, I, it was it was just, man. you know, we talked. I talked with the white lady, and she said, you know what, you should you should get paid to be here. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I I walk in, I was. I was, first of all, I was going through a whole bunch of other stuff, so it was just But you cool. wanted some money. I did. As you <laughs> should, like. <laughs> yes, as you should. Oh, you want to Because, you know, I heard you got a nigga, so. Yeah. I don't want him trying to come fight me on my show. Right, I'm just trying to look a little presentable. Because bitches been showing their coochie. Man, this outfit was last minute. Came in the middle of the day. You my look hairstylist canceled on me this morning. But you got hair though, and you got, got edges. I'm going, I'm going to come. I'm going to make it. You said I'm going to the lady show. I said the devil's working. Oh. The devil's working. I'm trying to stop you from coming to the lady show. Mm, tell me about it. Uh uh. Mm. You yeah. won't work here. Make me clap my hands. Period. You won't do it here. Stomp. Period. Mm. Stomp. That's my shit. But yeah, I'm happy to see you. So, um, I'm happy to see you because I remember you called me that one time. Uh huh. You called me when I was pregnant and you really gave me some guilt, you know, advice and you encouraged me. So I was like, I fuck with Liddy. I, I, was I fuck with you that. too. Oh shit. Thank you, sis. Tell them where the food come from, real quick. Tell them where the food come from. Love you, though. My cupcake oh my page, cookies and parfaits. Um, you can call me there. I do it all. Follow her. The food is good. Mm -hmm. is it she loves being it. Mm. So Zoe, you want like big lady? If you you don't want this fight, uh -uh. we don't want to <laughs> fight here. We don't fight on the lady show. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. You're not confrontational. So but I'm gonna just get right into it. Yes, please. Because it's a question that. Like, I never asked you, mm -hmm. why was you and that girl fighting on the toilet on season, what was that, season two, right? Mm -hmm. Why was y'all fighting on the toilet? I'm so, I was always interested about that. Um, what was her name? Uh, Neek Neek or something? Did you eat? Mm -mm, I think it's my plate right Yeah, this your plate, okay. I was going to say And then my, you need your um, plate. My baby daddy upstairs watching the baby, so I'm going to give it to him, you know. I'm take a, and I'm allergic to shrimp. Girl, he, he, shrimp. Girl, he, he better buy a plate. Uh uh. <laughs> fuck your baby daddy. Don't keep walking the baby. Let me like, stop. Hey, they keep watching the baby while you know. But, no, me and. Not like wait, that, but. Back to the question. You know. Back to the question. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I get too carried away sometimes. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. My baby daddy <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, not like that. We just playing. We just oh, playing. I, I know. Say that, Liddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just playing. But um, I'm not apologizing to the baby daddies, but <laughs> Zoe. Okay. But okay. So back into it. Um. So, like, yeah, you fought that girl on the toilet because what? I was on the toilet. She tried to make it seem like if you gotta use the bathroom, she tried to make it seem like, oh, I was in here first. But obviously, the camera saw it. I was on the toilet first. She came in there and started popping it. I'm like, girl, just let me use the bathroom real quick. Right. I'm gonna be out in five minutes. How long do you, how long does it take to use the bathroom? You, you that impatient? <laughs> well, well, do, do I look like that scary? Like I ain't know, like I'm a punk. Like she was trying to punk me. She she wanted a moment. She was this little. How she was trying to punk you? Cause she tried to tell me to get up off the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like, I almost done. I said that like, all right, bet five minutes. Like it ain't that big. I'm not going to. Girl, it ain't that serious. So it just. 
was what it was. I don't know what the fuck happened. We just, I, we fought. Cause she, I felt like she wanted me to get up right then and there and I wasn't done. I didn't even get the white. And she like yelling at me. Uh, you got some questions <laughs> for Zoe? Go ahead and ask yeah, Zoe your I questions. Some, I got some questions She got so. This is my co-host, Nice Styles. Hi, Hi. Nice Styles. She's the Hello. winner of the Big Lady TikTok. And she watches the shows. And, you know, yeah. she got some non-biased questions for you. Yeah. You know, to shake it up. Yeah, shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up a little bit. I'm going to eat while y'all do that. Give the viewers what okay, they want to see. Okay, so... Mm-hmm. Basically, what was the backstory between you and Shea Band's beef? Like, how did it end up y'all fighting? Uh, we was in a group chat, and I think, you know, motherfuckers was popping it. And I'm going to be real, this is when I was hanging out with E.T. and Vila. They was like, shit, you want to fight her? I was like, fuck it. They said, let me see your phone. Where you at? And that's just how it happened. We was popping it back and forth in the group chat. And my homegirls was like, nah, what you going to do about that? So, you know, I was like, fuck it. I'm, let's see. I'm so not really a confrontational person, but it was, it was like kind of fun, you mm-hmm. know. It was just like it was it was. I was on the TV. It's so my first trolling. time. It looked like you had a. It looked like you was having a good time. Yeah. It looked like you was, was having like, a good time. Let's see what I can do. Let me rough like squabbling ain't nothing. So it was never real. no real beef. Not that deep. Mm mm. Oh, okay. Ain't that deep. Yeah, y'all looked at funny fighting. That was the funniest fight. I told oh. him I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, don't go to the east side. <laughs> oh my god, that shit was funny. Okay, so since Shay Bands is she's on the show. Or was just on the show Young and Reckless. Mm-hmm. Who you did you watch that? Or uh, do you at least know some of the? Cast? Yeah, I know some of the uh, house. Mm-hmm. Who was your least favorite or somebody that you just not didn't really care for on Young and Reckless? I mean, it probably was Shay Ben. Just her. And mm, I don't really care for like Nod, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Shea Bands and Notch. Yeah, because remember me and Notch fought on Sussing Drew Betty's. Oh, uh-huh. Nah, Jay. Um, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I want to go back to when you first started on um, Blue GC, right? Right, Blue Girls Club. Blue Girls Club. Mm-hmm. Season three. I think two or three or something. Like I that. think one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, why was you and Leo fighting? Because y'all fought like four, five oh, times. Yeah. Y'all Leo. was fighting. Man, a lot of that time when I was on Blue Girls Club, we had nothing but alcohol to drink. Mm-hmm. Why did we fight? I'm pretty sure she, I don't know. I usually don't have the problem. I'm pretty sure she was just mad at me for some reason. She went, <laughs> oh, yeah, you saw it. She was like jumping over chairs to get to me. I'm just like, hmm. But I did her in. She said, I, I did her in. You did your shit? <laughs> yup. And it's a shame because I'm like, I, I, um, y'all fought like four, I'm cool five with times. her sister, Naomi. Mm. So that was just weird. I didn't know what the problem was, for real. I can't mm-hmm. remember. But I definitely know she was yelling, screaming, trying to do her best to get around to carry to fight me. Mm-hmm. You know, it was some whole other shit. It was lingerie night, too. It was a good night. I was just chilling. <laughs> it was lingerie night. You just, you just got Try your ass cute. out. <laughs> you to look good, huh? Mm-hmm, hating. That's what I think it is. It be the liquor sometimes. And the liquor, probably. Mm-hmm. 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 So, one second. Why you and Naj beefing? Because I'm in Najee business right now, so. Oh, Why you and Naj beefing? Yeah, I ain't like that comment she did on Twitter, like, oh, cut me a check. Like, girl, you want to be on the show. Just. Oh, because she <laughs> was on the show. <laughs> no, no, besides that, I didn't like how she carried out the whole situation on South Central Betty. She tried. Like, we fought because, um, you know, that Krishan shit. So y'all never got past that? That's a long time. Yeah, because, like, I don't... Have y'all talked, though, since then? Yeah, she said, I felt like you should have stood up for yourself. Da, 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 yop, yop. But it was just messy. Like, it's not it's not yours. Like, I was telling you my business. Like, we was friends coming into the show, South Central Betty. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even going to go because of my situation. At home, I wasn't stay. I mean, out here. I wasn't stay while I was still new out here trying to figure shit out. But Naj was like, come on, I'm, we gonna go in together, just come. Yeah, you, you can win 10K. So she, I said, 10K? All right, man, I'll do it for the 10K. And then when we get there, she started like telling my business how I like, but I, the shit that I told her as a friend, not to put out there and mm-hmm. not to tell me I need to like 
stand up for myself or fight a girl. And I never thought it was that deep. But you know how, like, production's messy. You can't and blame it on like production. That. It was not Jay fault. <laughs> It was Najee Fah. Najee. Someone Najee told always us that Krishan was supposed to come over there, um, come to South Central. Because let me tell you something. That time, like, me and Najee was cool. We was hanging out at Blueface House and shit, like, when no one's there. You know, it might be security there, like, Bodine or some shit. They were like, oh, can we come and chill at the pool? And all the girls, we chill at the pool that day and shit. That day, why did I bring it up? Oh, so when we went there... Krishan left her car. It was like a, it was a uh, rental. Mm -hmm. And we ain't had no car. So some Bodine let us grab the keys and like, yeah, go ahead. That's, you know, Krishan left that here. So we took the car. So that's really why Krishan pulled up to um, South Central Baddies that when she got jumped or whatever, and they wanted me to fight her. That's why she pulled up to the house to get her car back. Cause she had like her ID and shit or something in there. Right. So that's pretty much it. And so then when we get to the house, I really don't like talking about that girl. Yeah, so when we get to the house, like, I told her. You don't like talking about who? About Krishan? Mm hmm. Wasn't y'all good friends, though? Tight. Okay. Like, we was. We was good friends. I mean, I was actually yeah. wasn't good friends. Like, we was cool, though. Like, I used to, like, she looked out for me. I used to live with her type Thank shit. You. So like that was your coming, friend. Yeah, like coming right off the um, Blue Face show, you know, she said, pull up. I got you. You stayed at Blue's house with her? No, her apartment in Hollywood. Oh, she had her own shit? Yeah, she always had her own shit on the side. Okay, period. That's mm -hmm. what's up. She always had her own shit on the side. I'm happy to hear that. That's what's up. Yeah, it was a lot of people that, you know, she looked out for that stayed at that house. It was just like an extra house that she was just, who, who needed to stay type shit, you know? Or That's who try, what's up. Who trying to work? Oh, she was like... When I came to her house, she was like, oh, you're going to blow. You're going to blow because everybody that um, comes to this house blows up. And then, like, I was looking for a job right while I'm in the house. Mm -hmm. I'm on Amazon and shit. She was like, nah, don't, um, don't look for a job. I got you. Just follow me around and shit. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't know. But then it started getting. I would have getting... followed that bitch to the moon. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> you funny, yo. I'm just yo. playing. I'm just playing. You funny. But that was just, she was just looking at because we from the um, same city, you know. I'm from No, Baltimore, that's what's up. Y'all so. from the same city, like, you feel me? That's much respect. Mm -hmm. That's good, though. She was a good friend to you. That's what's up. I mean, shit kind of got weird whenever, um, you know, she just, uh, she, the fans started talking. They started watching the show mm -hmm. that dropped. And shit, she ain't like. Y'all uh, not friends no more? Nah, 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 nah. Cause she was like, she was like, did you do anything with Blue? I was gonna be real. Fuck all this. You fuck Blue? No. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> look, motherfucker. <laughs> Welcome to the Liddy Show. Liddy. Okay. All right. So look, I. Uh, I ain't do nothing. Wait, what can we talk about next? Can we just say next question? Okay, how's the baby? All right, the baby, yup. The baby good. The baby good, smiling. He's, he's so cute. You know, he grown. He's four months now. Okay. Shit. He good. Taking care What's of. What's his name? Can we know his name? Um, Jadani. Well, I know his name. I don't need to tell them. <laughs> Jadani, but I call him JJ. JJ? Mm -hmm. Period. So how you like being a mommy? I love it. It's hard. I got to move different. I got to be really careful. Mm, this, it's, I love it. I love being a mom. It gives me purpose. Like, and then I, like, I have more boundaries for myself now. Like, when I was pregnant, I had to separate from myself. And this, I really just dived into well, the word. I just got closer to God, really. You, and that's dope as fuck. We remember you on um, the academy getting kicked off because you was pregnant, right? Mm-hmm. I feel so bad for you because when you said you, you wanted to try to get the Section 8 because you, you got a baby and all that, I felt so bad for you. And then people was mad at me like, Liddy, why you feel bad for her? Why you feel bad? They were so mean to me because I felt bad for you. Man. But I felt you because you, 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 first off, you young. I don't know how to Yeah, exactly. At least you, I'm like, at least the bitch kept it real. Oh, shit. We be okay with a bitch saying she fucked the nigga for some money, but we mad at a bitch saying she got pregnant for some Section 8. I don't understand. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't 
Look, look at take it. You what? get me in my room? <laughs> This is what happened. We met. Like, I want to give now. you imagery. I want to give you imagery. I'm, I'm, don't feel bad for me. It ain't no shame. Like, it's my story. What the fuck? I was homeless. At, I, I moved from Baltimore. I was about to be homeless in Baltimore. I got, like, yeah, whatever. I moved to Cali for a better living, try to do right, you know, try to just do something for myself. Because mm, shit wasn't shaking back at home. So, uh, I was homeless out here. Shit. I met a nigga. In the fucking shelter, which is my baby daddy now, and we were struggling, shit, and we like, we laid up in like, um, it was like a fucking, I don't know what type of house it was, but we found some type well, of like house. A, like, a, like a placement? Like a, co, like a co-living type shit. I don't fucking know what it was. Mm-hmm. Everybody was fucking, huh? Oh, no, not there. Well, I did meet him at the shelter. We got our own place after we left uh, the shelter. Yeah, man, and y'all was fucking... <laughs> yeah, like when you're that rules. low in life, <laughs> when you that low in life, like bitch was at the bottom. Yeah, when you that low, you found your you honey. Just like, damn. But he a cool dude. We had the same birthday. I love my baby daddy. No shade. Y'all seem crazy. We all got the same birthday, same year. We too much alike. Like, but. It is what it is. I'm. I wouldn't change nothing. Like God got a plan. Like I ain't. But you ever it. thought about putting your family into reality TV? Man, I wish he would. You know, come down here and you know talk with me. He's very like antisocial. He kind of try and come up on his own. Like he don't want to take away my shine. He kind of mm-hmm. want me like. Um, we still getting to know each other for real. Cause like really we was just trying. Like I'm like I want a baby. You know. Shit, life sucks right so now. So you pressed up on just, him. It wasn't you just, pressed up on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I got that toxic coochie. You pressed up on I him. I did press up on him because I'm like, I'm not happy right now. And I always wanted kids. I always wanted to get married and have a family. Like, that was me. I kind of grew I have six brothers, but we never grew up each other. Everybody got different daddies. So you and, just picking niggas like, I want you. Give me a baby. <laughs> Shit, I was love. I was just like, I want to be happy. I need some happiness. It wasn't just Section 8. I also wanted, like, love. I wanted happiness. Mm-hmm. So I thought, you know, making a family would make me happy at that time. And it did. The sec- I did do it, you know, I, did, I know I said Section 8, but also to make me happy and love. I, want, I just wanted to see what a family was like. Mm-hmm. Shit. Period. Period. Well... Zoe. Huh? Zoe. <laughs> Tell me, this. You put that pussy on him. <laughs> oh, your baby daddy, you funny. Oh, yeah, I put it down. You is funny. You, you I put, put it that down. pussy she down. Took yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you just you just was like, okay, yeah. This is what I he, want. He I was a good looking dude to me. He was good looking. We had the same birthday. We was laughing. He's a good friend, if anything. He's a good friend. He got, he crazy, you know. He crazy. He got schizophrenic and bipolar disorder. I got to deal with that. Schizophrenic? It sound like y'all bipolar? need a show. It sound like y'all need a show. <laughs> <laughs> she did <laughs> crazy on Liddy TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's all love, it's all love, and like I said, like we look. I just moved here two years ago, so I just met him, and then like I'm not gonna lie, during my pregnancy he wasn't ready. Like he gave me what I wanted, but then he like, oh shit, mm-hmm. what the fuck did I just do? Still doing with him. So my life is not perfect, our relationship not perfect. I, I did most of my pregnancy by myself. Mm-hmm. Period. Well, you know, mama's yeah. babies, daddy's babies. You feel me? And. He's you showing know, up now, though. He's showing up trying to, you know, he's supporting me. Like, I couldn't be here if he didn't watch the child, you know. He, right. He didn't watch his baby. Okay. Well, is there anything, because after this, you mm-hmm. feel me, I don't know if you've seen the new, well, you know what I do, baddies therapy mm-hmm. over at Emerald City Nail Bar. And right there is where the baddies get more comfortable you feel me? Because I'm, I know it's a lot of supporters that, you know, they got questions for you and they gonna have other questions for you after watching this interview. Yeah, please don't eat me up, y'all. I'm just... They gonna eat you up. They, <laughs> they gonna eat me up. They're gonna eat you up. up. So, you know, the, the supporters gonna have questions. So, before, before we tease them with you know, another interview because, I mean, will you do body therapy? Of course, Liddy. Okay, period. I love you. So before we tease them, you feel, before, we, before we give them anything else, let them know something that you feel like it's just one thing like that. Okay, you know how you go through the comments, right? Mm-hmm. 
And then it's one It's just one comment That just bugs you And then that shit just irritates you Like can you think of one thing That someone has said That they just fucked you up Made you mad Made you sad Made you think about it To the point to where like You either blocked the person You hit the person up Or you just was like On some like Oh my god Like type shit what was it and and I want you to answer mm. it. Honestly, I can't really think of me getting too bothered about a comment. Period. I got a lot of shit going on. I'm a grown woman. I'm twenty four years old. Okay. Um I don't make mistakes and I I, I make them openly. So I'm trying to be someone that, you know, young black women can look up to. I know my outfit don't really say that right now, but that's, it just came in. It's matter. cool. <laughs> I'm it's a, cool. I'm working on it. It's just like, I'm being me. Like, I don't have to front for nobody. I don't give a fuck what they really say in the comments. It's kind of annoying, but like, just be my friend. I'm genuine. I'm just being real. Like, how you going to hate on my truth? I'm just telling the truth. It is what it is. If, mm. Like, teach me. If I'm saying something wrong, then tell me, help my thinking right. Like, help me think right, shit. You don't know where I come from. I come from a single parent home. Like, my, my mom was barely there. It's just like. And you learning. I'm learning. I'm just living life, trying to make it, try to provide for my family, try to provide for my kid, make a name for myself, be someone, break family curses, get money, get rich. I'm just trying to. Hustling. Shit. Hustling, I feel you. At the end of my song, Hustling, I said, I'm just out here trying to feed my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I said that at the end of a rap song. Oh I said that. And so I feel you. Like, you feel me? Like, at the end of the day, we just really trying to feed our kids. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to let you get to baby daddy. Okay. Baddy's Thank therapy you. Thank you next for week. Having Baddy's therapy next week. Okay, and we're going to get deep. I'll be ready. Wait, hold on. Before I let you go, do my co host got any more questions for her? Mm, no. 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 All right. I just want them. To t I want to tell your fans, your, your show that you supporters. Know, state, so your supporters, not fans. Excuse me. Your supporters. Um. I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh. Oh, stay tuned. Thank you. I got a lot going on. I'm a brand ambassador. You know. I'm um, working on my Instagram, building up content, as in reviewing black-owned businesses. So, you know, hit me up with some black-owned businesses that you want me to come visit and shout out and show love to. I'm just trying to put people on, show love. So that's pretty much it. Thank you and for that's having what me. We, mm -hmm. And that's really what we all about. Because shout out to Emerald City Nail Bar. E.T. and Zoe, hit me up on them. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And boom, you get a discount with them. Shout out to Ashika. You also have a discount code with them as well. Um, their Instagram is in my story. You can go ahead and look at that now. And you get a discount as well. Code Big Liddy. And, you know, we black black businesses. That's what we're doing right now. That's what we're supporting, right? Only, only I'm only supporting black businesses. Honestly. I wouldn't say that because then I'd be a hypocrite because I'd be liking everything. Like... <laughs> I can't Man, we that. came from slavery. You know we had to stop from the bottom. This is why Bitch. we down right now. This is why we got broken homes right now because of slavery. Zoe. Zoe, I'm darker <laughs> than you, first of all. You was in the house. I was picking <laughs> cotton. Like, let's not let's not even do that. My grandma told Yo, me. Yo, grandma, she but you farm. you was getting biscuits. Me in the cotton. <laughs> Bitch, get the shit. Like, you like that. So, I feel that, but I'm still, I'm, I'm still <laughs> gonna voice my Voice for the people, man. Fuck that. You a house <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, y'all. Mm -hmm. So that was Zoe. That's me, y'all. Now I'm gonna end the show, but before I end the show, I'm gonna talk about two things. I want to know: do, do you do you have any opinion about it? All right, let's talk about it. Okay, are you in tune on what's been going on on like the blogs and stuff with South Central Playboys season two and the cast? Have a you little, been paying attention? A little bit. Who you want to talk about? Depends okay. On what I, I don't want to not depend on what person, bitch. We not scared. Bitch, you from I'm South not, Central Baddies. No, the, I, don't, I, I might not know them. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I only oh, know like, okay. one person. So I was about to say, boys. like, what? We could talk about all of them. You know, I only knew that Dwayne dude because he was dating Don. Because he was dating Don. Don. Yeah. He got pink now. I like that for him. Me too. I do. I like that for him too. Make sure we clip that part so I can promote it. But yeah, we like that. Mm -hmm. I like that for pink too. Me too. I like that. No shade. No All tea. booty. 
All tea, actually. No shade. All tea. All tea. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I had seen on the blogs that um, Solid had got his ear bit off. Ooh, they biting. They cannibals. They cannibals. They biting shit. They eating shit up. <laughs> they literally season two of South Central Playboys is um 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 literally. They doing too hard. They doing too much. Why you whoever bit that boy ear? Why you do that? Why? Why? Why you do that? That ain't right. Did you see that? No. I they need to go to a mental uh-uh. hospital. Now they picked the craziest motherfuckers to be on this show. And he was in the hospital. And he made a post. He said he loved everybody, but he had to leave. I hope the motherfucker who bit his ear gone too. Because I might start a petition against them. Like I started against Billy. I'm going to start a petition against the motherfucker <laughs> I who think bit you, solid ear off. You know what? Like, I think crazy. you freaking should. Mm-hmm. I'll sign it. <laughs> I'll sign it. <laughs> I ain't trying to get my ear bit off. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, for real though. I'm trying. I'm trying to get back on South Central Ladies though. I'm trying to get back. You on trying the to screen. go to season five? All Thank right, you. y'all. Tell Isaiah Zoe want to get back on the screen. Season five, South Central Baddies, You gonna come beat shit up? What you coming to do? Yeah. I mean, no, no. Whoever <laughs> wanted, you know, get it. But I'm, <laughs> I'm really trying to make money. I'm gonna promote my band. I'm gonna, st- I'm gonna still be the genuine person I always been. I'm gonna be showing love, you know, doing my shit. But I'm pretty sure someone's gonna have a problem with it or whatever. I'm just gonna be me. But I ain't gonna let nobody hit on me. I'm gonna stand up for myself, you know. I'm God's child, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that kingdom streak. I'm a mom now. I feel like I, I have a more reason to fight now. I, Period. I, I, ain't nobody gonna beat me up on camera. Damn. 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 On oh, my soul. <laughs> <laughs> on my soul. Nobody beating Zoe up on I camera. I had a baby, so like if you can have push a baby out your vagina, you, that's when you get stronger. So no, you better period. be ready for this if they want it. But I'm there, I'm there for my it. brand. Period. And to get money. Y'all heard that, bitches. Listen up, you season five bitches. <laughs> OG Zoe might be in the house. Yeah, and I'm here to fucking network. And if you don't fucking like that, I had a fucking baby. I'm stronger now, ho. She's stronger, bitch. There ain't no bitch gonna fucking bitch me on TV. On my sub. On my sub. Hmm. Hmm. You heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my son. <laughs> I didn't drop the limit. But okay. So last but not least, y'all, before we leave here, dollhouse. South Central Dollhouse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel about that? I'm excited. That's good. That's a um fucking thank God, right? That they got a all I'm transgender so house. That's happy. Right. They that's, got their own show. Yeah, that's good. They about to eat that's, everybody up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They need their own I show. Like it, they been Ben should have got their own show. They, they need their own show. South Central Dollhouse. I'm out look, I got a surprise. And if everything, yeah, no shade. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just leaving it alone. Yeah, okay. But I hope so, please. Thank you. But anyways, South Central Dollhouse is about to go up. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm excited to see I, I can't wait to see them eat it up. And a lot of people are mad that Barbie is not there. But, you know, Barbie got shit going on. And Barbie just might pop up. Y'all know Bar- Barbie thirsty for camera time. Barbie's going <laughs> to pop up there like, uh-uh. 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 Isaiah, who is these bitches? Like, you know, Barbie going to pop up. Talk her shit. Talk her shit like, I made you bitches. Mm-hmm. Get mad, Fiona. Like, it's going to be a key. Yeah, Barbie Ooh, gonna do her shit. Man. She ran it. She ran it. Like, you know. Pull hair, whole time. Pull hair, whole time. Whole time. <laughs> you know, Barbie might come through, but Barbie might not come through. But it's still funny girls on that show. Candy mm-hmm. Joyce. You know. Yes, it's still funny girls on that show. They, Joyce is about to eat it up on that show. <laughs> Who do you think gets the most fish? <sighs> Who's the most fishiest on there? I don't want to fight them, so I'm not even going to ask them <laughs> shit. I don't want to fight them. Did you say I wasn't the fishiest? I'm, I'm the fishiest. <laughs> I'm the fishiest. I'm going to keep it at that. I don't want to fight them. <laughs> they might be like, Liddy, you didn't say my name. <laughs> Boop. Like, and I already got a track record of fighting, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. They're going to blame it on me. The fans going to blame it on me. The supporters going to blame it on me. But, yeah, I'm... 
you know, tune in, you guys. I am gonna be. I can't. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for those shows to come out so that I can really cover them and go into depth with them and talk about them and really like, you know, like give y'all some really good show reviews of some things that intrigue me. So I'm really waiting for South Central Playboys and South Central Dollhouse. So until then. We're gonna keep this shit rolling. We got Batty Therapy coming up next week. And I got some I got some 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 beautiful women coming on Batty's therapy. You feel me? Again, hairstylist competition. Jimmy Shoe did my hair. Make sure y'all go and y'all mm. rate him. You feel me? Jimmy Shoe in the building. Jimmy, come say hi. Since you already in the building, just come say hi before we leave. Yes. Hurry up. Your hair is easy. Hurry up. Come say hi. Come on. The color, the baby hair. Hurry up. Yes. Ooh. And then, you know, I'm only coming to say, hey, and that's that. <laughs> and that's that on that. You feel me? And thank you for the makeup. Where did she go? She left? Girl, you left, but I love you. You bet you beat the fuck out my face. Thank mm -hmm. you. I love you. And shout out to production. Shout out to the cook. Y'all yes, seen through sir. already, though. Y'all know. Same one. Ain't got to say too much. Y'all seen her. Y'all been trying to get her. Y'all seen her. You feel me? And one love. Thank you for tuning in to The Lady Show.